Some of the greatest names of Reformation and Revival history were people who preached in open air. One of the most famous of which is George Whitfield. George Whitfield was excluded from the pulpits of his day, and yet he went out and he preached not only to the coal miners and to the people at the sports events in the fields, he preached in the marketplaces. He preached to more people than there probably uh, were in the whole of the North American colonies at that time. He was the first public figure known by all people in the North American colonies because of his open air street preaching. In fact, I don't know how many Americans realize this, but there wouldn't be a United States of America without George Whitfield and the Great Evangelical Awakening. Because at the time that George Whitfield began his work, which was just one generation before the American War of Independence, he united the people and laid a solid reformed foundation through his street preaching that made the people of the United States have a common faith and also especially a biblical understanding of the doctrine of the lesser magistrate and the reformed doctrines which meant that you saw that the king is under the king of kings and the government is a delegated limited authority owing allegiance to the highest authority which is the creator God who has made them his deacons, his ministers of grace, Romans 13. So George Whitfield, in a very real sense, laid the foundations for the United States of America and its independence through his open air street preaching. If people want to say that it's unsophisticated and it's somehow demeaning to preach in the open air, I think they're ignoring their Christian heritage, their national heritage, and our Reformation heritage. Because plainly, open air preaching has been part of the Bible, part of the early church, part of church history and Reformation history, and it's certainly a key part of the United States history.